Match of the season, 1993-1994. Halifax Town 2, West Bromwich Albion 1. FA Cup first round, 14th of November 1993. Just when Halifax Town needed a boost, the FA Cup presented one, pairing them with West Bromwich Albion in what was arguably the plum draw of the first round. Certainly Sky TV thought so, for this was the game they elected to screen live on Sunday. Halifax Town stood to make around £40,000 for the game and its spin-off, and welcomed every penny. West Brom were renowned as a cup team, having won the FA Cup on six occasions, the most recently being in 1968 when a Jeff Astle goal was enough to beat Everton. And though they now languished in the new First Division, manager Keith Birkenshaw boasted fine FA Cup credentials. He had been in charge at Tottenham in 1981 when they triumphed over Manchester City, and again the following year when Spurs, re Spurs retained the cup, beating Queen's Park Rangers. But in substitute Nicky Reid, they also had a player who, when on the books of Manchester City, had, defaced, had tasted defeat at the Shea in 1980. Reid hoped that lightning would not strike twice, at least for himself. But Reid's worst fears were realised when, when the game had barely been six minutes old, Jason Peake danced through the baggies defence to slot home town's opening goal. Then, after 36 minutes, a sweeping move involving Peake and Jamie Patterson led to Steve Saunders racing away. With Kieran O'Regan in pursuit, Saunders clipped the ball past the advancing keeper and shot into the far corner. The town fans could not believe their eyes. Halifax keeper Darren Hayes had to make some fine saves to keep West Brom at bay in the first half, but town were indebted to left-back Peter Craven for protecting their two-goal lead when he cleared off the line on the stroke of half-time. At the interval, the visitors came back strongly, but were almost down and out by the time they finally broke through. There were nine minutes remaining when O'Regan returned the ball into the box from the left, and Andy Hunt fended, fended off Eiffel Edwards to head his ball past Hayes. Hunt received two broken teeth for his pains. The goal set up a nail-biting finish. The Shearmen held out for a famous win, and the players and manager Peter Rack rightly milked the attention that was heaped on them. West Bromwich Albion might not have been as high a profile as Manchester United or Manchester City, both of whom had been slayed at the Shea over the years, but that didn't make the victory any less sweeter. <laughs>